wanted to share my track car with you today. I'm gonna go over the specs of it, engine, suspension. This is a 1990, it's a DX model. This is an eBay front lip, also with an eBay tow hook. I have that cut rear bumper that I did myself. Added that eBay tow strap. It is connected to the frame rail, so it is functional, as well as the front one. I have the 88, 89 tail lights and the black centerpiece. I have this eBay replica wing. It's supposed to be like a J's wing, but to me it looks more like an extended SIR wing. I have a Momo steering wheel using has an oil pressure gauge, upgraded SI gauge cluster. I have a stock shifter with the Buddy Club shift knob and that ASR dog bone shifter. Also using a Corbo race seat, mounted it to the stock rails and so it still slides forward. For the rear, for my spare, I got a GSR Fat 5 and using that DC Sports carbon steel strut tower bar. Still have the interior panels back here, along with the door panels. No upper liner though. Has high compression JDM B20B. Has an aftermarket cold air intake. Has an LS9293 cable transmission. DC header, Mishimoto radiator hoses, Skunk 2 Alpha radiator, the half core. Has an AEM fuel rail plus a fuel pressure regulator. Also has a Summit Racing fuel pressure gauge. It's still a 9093 Integra intake manifold. It's just powder coated black, same with the throttle body. And it has a PR4 ECU. It is OBD0. We have extended top hats on top of the Kony shocks. Cheap OBX bar, I'm sure that uh, it's probably not the best. I just left it on as soon as I had it. I wanted to get an upgrade, but I haven't been able to yet. We have the innovative swap mounts. They're the steel mounts with the urethane inserts. Now I'm gonna share the suspension setup with you. The wheels that I'm using, these are the Koenig dial ins. These are 15 by 7, they have a plus 35 offset, very lightweight, they're a flow formed wheel so they weigh about 10 and a half pounds each. The tires are the BF Goodrich, these are the G-Force Rivals, and they are a 205.50. I'm on the Kony shocks, these have the ground control sleeves, but it does not have a ground control spring. This spring is actually from summitracing.com. They sell individual springs and different spring rates depending on what you want to get. I went to, I dropped down to a 450 in the front spring rate. And if ordering these, you can look it up. These are seven inch tall spring. They're two and a half inch inner diameter and you can get them in pairs. And I only paid, I believe 60, about $65 for the pair of these springs. Now for the upper, upper control arm, I'm using the Skunk 2 Pro Series. I got the ones without the urethane bushings because I have the full energy suspension urethane kit, so it was unnecessary to buy those again and spend the extra money. I'm using some stainless steel brake lines. They're a generic brand. I also have, these are the 90 to 91 Civic Sedan EX front knuckles. These have the 10.3 inch rotor and the larger 9093 Integra sized caliper. So it's a little bit bigger of a brake upgrade using all stock components without using the 9093 Integra front knuckles which throw off the suspension geometry. My pads are nothing special, same with my rotors. They are from a company called 88 rotors, um, ceramic pads, and just the cross-drilled slotted rotors. Some people don't really seem to like them. I haven't seemed to have any issues. Granted, this car is not even that quick. It's, it has a lot of torque, but it's really not that fast of a car. So they, they feel perfectly fine, and people will always comment how, like, oh, these are on wrong, you got them facing the wrong direction. What they don't 
understand as you need to look at these inner veins on the inside of the rotors. Those determine which side the car should go on. If they are vertical, then it does not matter. This rotor could technically go on the other side of the car and the other one over here doesn't uh, really matter. It just depends on those inner veins and the way it disperses the heat. I'm also using the ST suspension. This is the 22 millimeter front sway bar. For my rear trailing arm setup, I'm using the 9093 Integra. It allowed me to use the rear disc brakes. I have, um, this is the Password JDM spherical camber kit. I also have Kony shocks with the five, I have some, these are the Ibrock, the ground controls. I have the 500 pound spring rates in the front. When I originally bought my Ibrock, ground controls. I went with a 500 and 400, but I didn't like the way the 400 felt. So I ended up, that's why I bought the Summit Springs that I showed you on the front. And I also have the Hard Race rear trailing arm bushings and also a set of the stainless brake lines here in the rear also. Now for the rear suspension, I got the Password JDM lower control arms. These have the spherical bearings. I also have the ST suspension rear 22 millimeter sway bar. I have a EM USA lower arm bar. Kony shocks as you saw earlier and a little mini muffler that I put together which was made to the two and a half inch piping. And in a nutshell there's my 1990 Honda Civic. Track car slash fun car slash whatever car. I know it's not the fastest, it's not the prettiest, it's not the most expensive, but it is a lot of fun. Been able to enjoy it and have uh, some good times in it and I hope I have a lot more of those good times in learning to drive it better and faster at the track. Maybe uh, have a stronger motor eventually. I know my whopping 135 horsepower isn't going to impress a lot of people, but it's fun for me and what it is. Not out there trying to beat everyone, be faster than this guy, be nicer looking than this guy. I'm just doing my own thing, having some fun, and hoping to help you guys out along the way. Hope you guys enjoy the car. And as always, thanks for watching. And if you guys haven't uh, subscribed yet, give me a subscribe. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if you like the videos. Um, give me any kind of future suggestions. But thanks for sticking around, and thanks for hanging in there, and thanks for being interested in my videos. Take care, guys.